Hey, yoga teachers. I wanted to just share with you what my feelings are, my personal feelings are towards teaching and showing up for your students during troubling times. Um, right now we're going through troubling times and we may not have all of the answers. Uh, and yoga is a source to help us with getting through things. But even as as yoga practitioners and yoga students ourselves, you know, we turn to the mat in order to help us get through things. So now when we have to be on the other side of it and we have to be the one that's going to share and pour into people, we need to make sure that we know kind of how to address things. And I'm sure if you've talked to other yoga teachers, we're all in this trying to figure it out. We're all in this trying to figure out, okay, what's the best way to uh, address what's going on, how to talk about things, but then also when we talk about those things, you know, what is the extent that we go into? Maybe not going into all the details and all of the things and giving our personal opinions on certain things, but we still need to tie it back in and say, you know, of course, we're reinforcing why we come to the mat, why we turn to yoga, why we turn to the breath. And a lot of times we are just figuring it out as we go along and share with your class, share with them, hey, things are going on in the world and I'm still processing my own thoughts, but yoga is what helps me to get through. Whatever it is, be authentic. That's probably number one, like be authentic with yourself, your feelings, and how you're processing it through. Because at the end of the day, our students want to know our real authentic selves. They don't want to see the sugar coat, the dolled up face. They want to know the real. And they're coming to you as a real person. They want to see that real person. And transparency, it don't get no real in that. So tell your students, share with them, hey, you know, I'm really taking this to heart. I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling the kind of way. And if you're really having a bad day, you know, really, it's like, you know, today, I my cup isn't full enough to pour into other people. And accept that. Accept where you are. If you're not feeling it today, sometimes, you know, we all need mental health days. So lean on your community your community of other yoga teachers. Maybe you get that class subbed. Maybe you reschedule the class. Because right now, especially if you're watching this in real time, we're going through a lot. You know, as a community, as a world, you know, what has happened, and it's not even just to say with George Floyd, and that has reignited and rekindled a lot of different trauma that has been there because there are many names, you know, and it was just three highlighted back to back. We had George Floyd, we had Ahmaud Aubrey, we had Breonna Taylor, and we're going through it on top of just, and we're not even through it, a pandemic. So it's a lot to process. Home, isolation, you know, you have to still lean on people virtually, share that. Show up for your students authentically because that's what they like. There are thousands, hundreds of thousands of yoga teachers, but they chose you for a certain reason. They chose you because of that energy. It's something about you that keeps them coming back. So it doesn't have to be prettied up. Don't make it prettied up. Make it you. Make it how you need to see it. So know that it's okay to just say you're not okay. Just as, just as much as we say to our students, you need to say that to yourself. Lean on your community. A lot of times, if, if you've ever done any marketing or anything like that or different um, leadership things, they say, you know, you never dump down. You always dump up. So that's when you lean on your tribe of yoga teachers. You lean on your tribe and you talk to them other yoga teachers that are in that same boat with you and they understand because they're trying to fill themselves, fill their cup so they can pour into their students. So we lean on our, our tribe, our tribe of fellow teachers to help, 
to keep us going. And I lean on to you as well because we have a community, we have a tribe. And I love to hear and talk to yoga teachers. I build my community around teachers and I love to hear what teachers have to say. So I hope that this helps just to give you that push, maybe even that connection to say, hey, she's actually going through the same thing I'm going through. We're all in this together. I hope this helps. Again, my name is Tiana. If I forgot to say it in all of the wanting to get it out and not make it pretty. It is what it is. Keep teaching, keep filling, and stay strong. Thank you. I love you. Namaste.